Thanks for joining us at this 10 o'clock hour. I'm Anna Terea, our chief meteorologist, Dan Sianka, right here, right here. Mm -hmm. He joins us now. Dan, what are things looking like at this time? Uh, not too bad out there. It's a little chilly late this evening. Let's take a live look from Dominico's on the wharf tonight. You can see a little bit of color in the sky or some uh, reflection in the sky. I believe there is a plane getting close to landing. It's behind the banner right now. I think that's what we're seeing the light, a little bit of light refraction from the uh, the low level moisture. Take a look at that. You didn't realize you're going to get a live action video here when we got to Dominico's on the wharf here. We got a plane landing. I hope that's a plane landing. Otherwise, we're having first contact or something. But either way, fun night in Monterey, it looks like, for most folks out there. Uh, today, not too bad. It was cool for this time of year, but the sun was out, so it felt warm if you were standing out there. You may have been standing out there. At the moment, sky's mostly clear, visibility looking good at all area airports, so no major clouds out there. We had a few thin high clouds passing through, but that was about it. Even at sunset tonight in Salinas, didn't have much going on. Take a look at these highs. Still below normal. Coralitos was the warm spot at 65. Most of us in the low 60s today. Monterey is still chilly, though. We stayed in the 50s with that breeze coming directly in off the water. Currently stand at 47. Santa Cruz, you're at 50. Same in Salinas and mid to upper 40s for most other locations tonight. So getting chilly out there. It will be another cold night. We've had a couple of those lately. And tomorrow morning will be no exception as many coastal cities get down into the low 40s. And some may even dip their toes briefly into the pool we call the 30s overnight. That was way too complicated, but either way, it's going to be chilly overnight. Skies again, mostly clear. We'll have a few high clouds passing through, maybe just a couple low clouds offshore, but really don't expect much. You should be able to see the stars pretty well into the afternoon. Tomorrow we have a lot of sunshine to start the day. A few puffy clouds over the hills popping up and then high clouds will increase from the west ahead of our next storm system. Storm is probably a little bit of an overuse of a word. I'm trying, trying to hype things up. We are going to get a little bit of light rain uh, on Friday, and here's how that's going to play out. Expecting the clouds to thicken up overnight tomorrow night into Friday morning. We'll start to see a few sprinkles perhaps by the morning commute Friday, and then really just a few light showers moving through around the Monterey Bay area into early Friday afternoon before this cold front, which is coming through, kind of dissipates over us. And after that, things might be a little drizzly, but for the most part will dry out. As far as how much precipitation you can expect with this storm, storm again, you can see the amounts likely to be pretty light. A few hundredths of an inch there, maybe up to a tenth of an inch in Santa Cruz County. So not a big deal for us. Uh, typical type of system that we see in the month of April moving through the region. So uh, not a big deal for us. And then we head into the, the Easter weekend, which we're going to take a look at in a moment. But let's quickly look at your temperature forecast tomorrow. As I mentioned, going to be chilly overnight, 30s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys. Back to uh, uh, 64, your high in Santa Cruz tomorrow. 63 in Capitola. And look at the mid-60s. Ben Loma tomorrow, 66 degrees. So tomorrow afternoon looking pretty nice after a chilly morning. Mid-60s in Salinas. Tomorrow afternoon in the upper 60s we will go into Gilroy and Hollister. Those lows in the 30s though, overnight staying a little bit chilly. And on over to the Bay Shore, expecting lows in the 40 degree range and then highs back to around 60 degrees. Over the next seven, or I should say down south to the peninsula, we'll see highs in the upper 50s. So you're gonna warm up a little bit in Monterey tomorrow, a few degrees, right? 61 in Carmel, lows in the 40s, and then farther south, we'll see highs in the 60s, close to 70, but lows in the 30s for the most part. So a cool start to the day, but a mild finish. Here's that seven day forecast. I jumped the gun on it, was so excited to tell you about the weekend. Yesterday, and perhaps the day before, we talked about some potential rainfall this weekend. That's looking much, much less likely. I didn't pull the trigger on putting the rain icons on Saturday or Sunday, but we had watching on there. I have removed watching. While I'm still watching, I don't want you to think like that I'm really still watching, so no worry about it. We had that chance of some light rain on Friday, then after that, the weekend looking partly cloudy and warm. Yeah, actually warm. Highs above normal for this time of year for your weekend. Looks good if you have that Easter picnic or if you're heading out to service early for sunrise or just doing an Easter egg hunt or whatever you're doing on Easter. Looks pretty nice. I'll have a little bit of a breeze early next week and slightly cooler temperatures, but not too bad. Inland area is also uh, slow warm up minus the speed bump of Friday, but this weekend looking nice and warm. In fact, Easter Sunday, how about mid 70s inland? You could uh, put the flip flops on. Go ahead and do it. Go crazy.